there's a lot of people who seem to feel that there's every justification for taking a negative view of humanity or existence itself because of the presence of so many evil people. One of my favorite movies ever was um, Francis Ford Coppola's Apocalypse Now. And a lot of people believe that that movie showed humanity for what it actually is. A big uh, eke homo. Uh, this is what people really are. We're savage beasts and our only concern is to kill and to eat and to fuck. Well, <laughs> I didn't get that out of Apocalypse Now at all. What I got is a movie with a gigantic and unexpected and kind twist at the end. Here we have Walter Kurtz, the uh, supposedly Nietzschean Superman, who's built up throughout the entire movie as some sort of Buddha-like figure, some sort of guru, I suppose. Um, he's standing in judgment, in righteous indignation, um, over the entirety of the human race. He's standing in judgment over absolutely everything. Nietzsche always comes up in this uh, movie. And I think that this movie, at least in my interpretation, shows the dangers of misunderstanding Nietzsche more than anything else. Um, one of Nietzsche's quotes that I'm very uh, fond of is, No one lies so boldly as the man who is indignant. We all, we've all met that man. George Bush is evil. The big corporations are evil. Uh, Wall Street is evil. The military-industrial complex is evil. The junk food industry is evil. Uh, I'm, I'm morally appalled at all of these things in the world. It's just incredible that these evil, evil people manage to, to hold sway over this world. That person is unfortunately, according to Nietzsche, lying. Um, and I would say that he's probably saying that that person is first and foremost lying to himself. Um, at the end of Apocalypse Now, uh, to me, the best line of that movie was, even the jungle wanted him dead. That was the uh, sort of the culminating line of the movie, and that to me was the most Nietzschean line of the movie. Because Nietzsche says, to my understanding, look at the dark side, look right at it, see it for what it is. It's part of you, but it's not everything. You've got a good side, too, but your good side um, can often be mistaken for your dark side, and conversely, your dark side can often be mistaken for your good side. Indignation is like that. You think that you're indignant over the evils in the world, but it actually ends up being you think that you're superior to everybody else. You think that you've discovered who the evil people are, and apparently you're not one of them. Oh, yes, you are. You're one of us. You're one of the human race. We're all a mixture of good and evil. That's just the way it is. And, of course, that's what Kurtz finally realized. He'd gone all the way over into pure evil, um, and he'd, he'd intellectualized it. But, again, even the jungle wanted him dead. Why? Because the jungle is neutral. Just like us, the jungle is both good and evil. Again, sailing up the Nung River into the heart of darkness, you got the impression throughout, the, throughout most of the movie that you were sailing right into reality and right into pure evil. You were staring right into your own heart, really. And, unfortunately, what we think as the truth or what we think sometimes 
as reality is a skewed perception or a skewed view of our own good side. We think that it's actually useful to be negative about everything. That's healthy for us because we're actually putting on the BS detectors and seeing things for the way that it really is, seeing things for the way they really are. Well, no. <laughs> that's the dark side talking, and that's the dark side in a way taking over the universe, the world, life, and what's in between here and in here is both. You go too far into the dark side, and you're just as skewed as someone who's just la 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 world is everything is great everything is great everything is great you're just as bad and just as lopsided and beware of people that like to point out all the bad people in the world every time we've ever done that or any time anyone has ever created a philosophy of that sort has ended up um, creating some sort of Auschwitz Thank you.